Should you buy an iPhone 7 Plus solely because it has an extra gigabyte of RAM over the iPhone 7? The iPhone 7 Plus on the right has three gigabytes of RAM while the iPhone 7 on the left has two gigabytes of RAM. We're gonna test this out in a very unscientific test using Safari. Now I've closed out of everything outside of Safari here and you can see I've loaded up two dozen tabs each. All the same tabs, all the same exact websites in the same order. So what I'm gonna do is step back through this. I've already loaded them up once, going through once and waited till I finish loading. I'm gonna just step back through these in reverse now and go right back up the list in the opposite way that I came. And we're gonna see how long it takes before pages begin to refresh due to no longer being stored in RAM. And that would indicate that there is a lack of RAM available. Now, of course, this is very unscientific and memory management is much more complicated than what we just described there. But this gives you an overall general idea of what to expect. For instance, when I compared the iPhone 6 to the 6S, the 6S was the first to get two gigabytes of RAM in an iPhone. It was a major difference. It was very obvious from the jump. With this though, you can see that extra gigabyte of RAM which a lot of people are speculating is for that new iSight Duo camera, that dual camera module that is exclusive to the iPhone 7 Plus. A lot of people are speculating that extra gigabyte of RAM is specifically for that. And that makes sense with the image processing, trying to combine data from two different sensors, it could be very RAM taxing. So it makes sense as to why the iPhone 7 Plus would have an additional gigabyte. But here's the question, should you base your purchase on the amount of RAM contained in either of these devices? I'm gonna say no, because up until this point, both devices have performed the same. And when pages start refreshing like they just did there, they're refreshing on both devices. So one isn't lasting longer than the other due to having more RAM, at least not in this particular test. Now again, very unscientific. Your mileage may vary, but from what I'm seeing here, real world usage, you're really not gonna notice much of a difference between the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Granted, that extra gigabyte of RAM is obviously there for a purpose, but I definitely wouldn't allow the fact that there's two gigabytes of RAM in the regular iPhone 7 sway me from purchasing that device if that's what I wanted. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.